Shining a bright red, as always, is I, Red Luster. Welcome to Undertale. I'm sorry that I'm starting here, but there is some recording failures in which the uh, full screen messed everything up. But we're okay now, I think. I think everything's okay now. I mean, if you're hearing this, then it's okay now. If not, then this will be lost to the void of the delete. Anyway, we named our human red, and, uh... Yeah. The reason why I hesitated to play Undertale for so long is because, one, I haven't played it in so long. Two, is the fact that I have a, a new keyboard. Because when I originally played Undertale, I had a much fatter keyboard to play with. As in, the buttons were a lot easier to press and were more spaced out. These keys are super close together, so... I might end up fat fingering this into me messing up a lot. But that's okay. We're going to go pacifist first, then genocide. Because, uh. Don't want the pacifist to be corrupted by our genocidal tendencies. Anyway, that's enough dark silence. Let's just go. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Wow, real original. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Wink! Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. I don't trust that. Hey, hey, buddy, you missed them. Come on, man, stop screwing around. Let's try again, okay? Nah. <laughs> Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friendliness pellets! Nah, I knew it! You know what's going on here, don't you? You just want to see me suffer. Die! Oh no! Oh, we're okay. Get wrecked. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Well, I guess Flowey got wrecked. He got, he got, he got showed up by Goat Mom. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Cool, now we got a save point. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins.
The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Also, wow, this music is super loud. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Uh, thank you, tutorial. Press Z to read signs. Well, I kind of already knew that, considering I had to press Z to read it to begin with. Stay on the path. Okay. The first switch is over on the wall. Do you need some help? Press the switch on the wall. What if I... Come on, you can do it. What if I don't wanna? Okay. Please press this switch, Toriel. Well, I pressed it. I can't press it again. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I'm so sorry. Please press this switch too, Toriel. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. Oh my god. We couldn't even fail if we wanted to. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. Well, that's not very friendly. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Well, I guess the first one we did meet did try to attack us immediately. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Uh, hi. My name is Red. Uh, let me check you out first. Uh, dummy. No attack, no defense. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Oh, how cute. A little rhyme. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Uh... You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Uh, hi, dummy. Uh, I'm Red. Red Luster. You may have heard of my YouTube. I'm not much of a... I'm not a very well-known YouTuber right now, but... I'm getting there. I'm trying my hardest. Uh, what about you? You, uh... Oh, you work at a clothing industry? Oh, that's so cool. I bet you could wear all sorts of neat things. I mean, you don't have any legs. But, you know, you can still wear a nice, uh, shirt. Maybe a skirt. Oh, you know what would look really great on you? A nice little hat. I think you'd look great with a hat. Turtle seems happy with you. I'm happy with myself. You won. You got zero experience and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Alright, I'll see you later, buddy. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it.
But Froggit attacks you. What did I do? Uh What was I supposed to do again? Uh Strike up a conversation. Should I threaten it or should I compliment it? Uh Go for the compliment. <laughs> Froggate didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I said it. You are a very handsome little frog. <laughs> oh my god. Toriel stank guy. <laughs> Well, you're like, oh, what you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that cracked me up so much. Just her, just her look at him like, barely my child alone. <laughs> the West Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, that's cute. She's leading me through the deadly spikes. But then again, you could just brute force this puzzle. Just keep walking forward, and if it doesn't go down, don't go that way. Puzzles seem a little dangerous for now. I mean, I can walk... See, it won't even let me walk onto the spikes, so I literally can't mess up this puzzle if I wanted to. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no! Toriel? There's some spooky music playing! I don't like this. Am I gonna get attacked by something? This is a very long hallway, jeesh. Oh, a pillar. Uh, hi, Toriel. Um... Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was barely behind this pillar the whole time. <laughs> nice hiding spot, the only other object in the room. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It is dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I got bored really quickly. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There is a few puzzles ahead I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Oh, I'm sorry, Toriel, but I am not patient enough. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Okay, and we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, if you guys think I should play through the whole game, let me know in the comments below. If not, don't say anything. Or tell me not to play this. Or, I don't know, say something in the comments below. I'm gonna, that's gonna do it for this episode. This has been uh, Red Luster, signing out.